Happy transfer day. <laughs> knocked up today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's get it and put this light of camera on. You know what I'm saying? Landon's being Papa right now. Fussing about everything I do. Anywho, good morning. It is Embryo Transfer Day, and I'm excited. We've been up since 5 o'clock in the morning to put my lidocaine on my butt so we can numb it. I probably shouldn't sound like this. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm good. Yeah? You ready? I am. <laughs> I am ready. I'm really good. You okay? I gotta pee. <laughs> <laughs> My bladder is full. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> Get my pee. I don't know if I can wait for 30 more minutes. I don't think you should. Just try to. Think about it. You think I, I don't know if I can hold it all. We should ask. I can't move like a little bit out. It's going to happen. Yeah. Waterfalls. Mm. Alright, y'all. So we, we are leaving Piney Point. Um. Where we just received our embryo transfer. So the embryo is inside of me and I am pupo. That <laughs> is pregnant until proven otherwise <laughs> is, the, is the term. So I am pupo right now and man, it, went, it, it went really well. I mean it's not a painful procedure at all. Um, only, actually, the most painful thing is the bladder. <laughs> you have to drink 16 ounces of water, and then when you get here, drink another eight. And so, by the time I got here, my bladder was already full, and then she wanted me to wait 45 minutes with my bladder full, and I was like, and then when you go in the room, they push down on your bladder to try to locate the perfect area for um, to plant the embryo so I'm just like so right after that transfer I, I went straight to the bathroom <laughs> but now I understand why women say like you know they're scared of um, peeing out their embryo because like this feels so wrong I feel like I shouldn't release anything from my body right after the transfer but anywho it's done so now I have nothing really planned we're going home we're relaxing my doctor said to get my pineapple core ready. So I'm gonna have some pineapple core, which I wasn't actually gonna do. But since she said it, I was like, well, it must be right if <laughs> she said it. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you hear a lot of different, you know, superstitions of, about what you should and should not do, what's right and wrong for IVF. So she told me about it, even though I've already read about it. And I'm like, well, if you said it, then we're doing it. Plus she said I can have ice cream and lay on the couch and be a couch potato and watch Netflix. So that's what your girl is going to do. Ain't that right, boo? Yep. 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 <laughs> okay. Guess what? I got my McDonald's fries. Oh, I got some McDonald's fries. I'm so excited. 
thank Chantel for sponsoring today's meal. If you watch my egg retrieval video, you'll see that I had some McDonald's fries after my egg retrieval, which there's videos and articles about having fries after egg retrieval because of the sodium and I think helping with or helping to prevent um, OHSS. But apparently it's actually really supposed to be for embryo transfer for I don't what whatever reason I don't know. But we love a good reason to go to McDonald's guilt free. For the rest of the day though, I am gonna take it easy. I'm gonna be laid down. Landon will not let me lift a finger. Um and I'm just gonna be I'm actually just gonna be laying down watching Netflix movies, be Netflixing and chilling. So now. Hello, it's 7 30 and I am now in my movie room just chilling about to watch some good movies for the rest of the night. We've done we've taken like several naps today. Right now I'm sipping on some pineapple core. My husband cut up a pineapple for me and he blended it up and actually it's said to be really great for you after your transfer because of an enzyme called bromelain or bromelain. I don't know how I don't know what, how to pronounce it, but it's an enzyme that helps with implantation. Um I don't really have much planned for the rest of the evening. We have my Lovenox blood thinner shot. And I'll take the rest of my pills. A doctor earlier told me that I no longer have to take the, uh, I can take the estrogen pills orally, three of them, but I no longer have to take the vaginal pills. So <laughs> I'm so, so, so happy about that. I go back to the doctor on August 1st. I go back to check for my estrogen level and my progesterone to make sure that I'm on track. I'll be taking my progesterone shots up until the first trimester if I'm pregnant. So I got to get used to those. Um, but it has not been hurting for the last few days. So I think I'm pretty much a pro at, at this point. The week after that, I'll probably have my pregnancy test. I'm going to try so hard not to test at home. That is like the hardest thing, but I'll distract myself. Um, but I have to think of a way if I am pregnant to tell Landon. So uh, if you got some creative ideas, maybe inbox me or if you guys follow me on Instagram, the ISIS almighty inbox me some ideas. because I'm actually trying to figure out like if I do get pregnant, what's the best way to tell him? I want to be creative. I think he deserves it, but it is kind of hard when you're doing IVF because like your husband knows like all of the appointments. So it's kind of hard to like hide anything from him. So I kind of have to plan in advance like the if, if it happens. So yeah, anywho, exciting times. I feel nothing. I feel great physically. I don't feel like anything is hurting or aching or anything like that. Earlier I had like some very, very minor cramps, not anything that was painful at all, just kind of there. But I do want to talk a little bit about like earlier during my actual procedure, because like, I think people have questions about what the procedure is like like is it long you know so basically the, the procedure doesn't take long at all actually it it's probably about 15 to 20 minutes long and what she does is she kind of shows you like what she's going to do and then she did like a trial a trial transfer or like a I guess that's what it's called a practice transfer just to see just to check the route to make sure that you know the path is clear she said everything looked really great. She showed me. We had our, um, she gave us a picture of our embryo and she also gave us a picture of like where she, where she planted the, the embryo. So I think that made it really exciting because it's like, it's real. Like this is our M baby. So like, I don't know. It's really exciting. <laughs> smooth and she said as smooth as it, it can possibly go 
And um, yeah, that's about it, y'all. I don't really have anything else to talk about. I think tonight is going to be cut short. I'm going to probably go to sleep pretty early and just enjoy my boo. I do think, though, that, um, you know, once I get the results, I think I may even, um, I don't know, I may need time. Like, whether it's positive or negative, like, I think I may need time just to be able to share that with you all. Obviously, I'm not going to wait for the traditional three-month mark because I've been sharing the journey with you guys, and I think it's important for you all to see the highs and lows of this journey. I'm going to do all the things that I said I was going to do before transfer. I'm going to continue doing those afterwards um, and just protect my body and my, my mental health. The next few videos will be about just the two-week wait period, some of the symptoms that I'm feeling, if I'm feeling any, um, just what's happening with me because obviously there is an embryo inside of me. I am going to embrace all of this and share all of what I'm feeling with you guys and I hope you guys enjoy. So until next time.